I'm Dr. Jeff Epstein, and this... I'm Andrea Antello. Andrea is our nurse practitioner, one of several in our office. So I see patients largely in the clinic as well, um, anywhere from our almost pediatric patients that come in to make sure that their care is being um, handled properly, all the way up to someone who's looking for a procedure and anything in between. As far as medical therapy goes, there is a role for that for every type of patient, and that can be you know, ordering uh, blood work, making sure that there's nothing that we're missing, any vitamin or nutrition abnormalities. Uh, we're able to use trico tests and the results and, and the medication list that we find patients are predisposed to having a better result with. We're able to use that information to compound either oral or topical medications and provide them more individualized care than what the over-the-counter and the usual other providers have to offer. Yeah, we like trico tests. We've been using it now for several years. Mm -hmm. Basically, it's a test of an individual's DNA uh, that lets us basically look at an individual's genes and determine what therapies are most likely going to be effective. It's a simple saliva swab. We take a, a, a saliva swab from the inside of your cheek and that analyzes DNA, specifically the genes that are associated with hair loss. It gives us information about the receptor activity in your particular DNA. And so what that means is if you have an increased or a decreased receptor activity or function in that gene, it allows us then to use medication, some of which are commonly known like minoxidil or Propecia, which is finasteride, but also other things, natural supplements that are also DHT blockers, um, vitamins, things of that nature to counteract whatever variant in the gene you particularly have. And so it allows us an opportunity to be able to customize the treatment, but it allows us not only to know what would work best for you based off of your DNA, but also to increase and decrease and adjust the dosages and the medications that we can use uh, based on patient response. Thus reducing risk of side effects right. and remo removing the guesswork. You know, why put you through six months of using something if we know offhand or we know right from the start that genetically with the trico test shows that you're unlikely to respond to it, why put you through that? 